Hi, in this video, I wanna show you conversions for the US customary units of capacity. So the ones that we're gonna be looking at is one cup is eight ounces, one pint is two cups, one quart is two pints, one gallon equals four quarts. And this could be either liquid where it's fluid or it could also be um, where you're dealing with dry ingredients as well. Okay, so this could be either, if you are dealing with a fluid, you would just put a fluid in front of it, but I am not going to do that. We're just gonna be looking at ounces. Um, but if you were dealing with fluid, you would just put fluid ounces in front of it. Um, cups, there is not an abbreviation. Pints, I'm going to abbreviate as PT. Quarts, I'm going to abbreviate as QT. And gallons, I'm going to abbreviate as GAL. Okay, and with this, if you are going from a heavier to a lighter, so if I'm going from cups to ounces, then I would use this one. And if I'm going from lighter to heavier, so like for example, if I were going from ounces to cups, then I'm going to use this side. Okay, so this is just a nice, easy way of looking at how to do the conversions from what we have over here. All right, so let's get started with our first one. The first one that we have is we're going 108 ounces to cups. Okay, so we can see that there is a direct conversion for ounces and cups. Um, so what we are going to do is we want to get rid of ounces and we want to end up with cups. Okay, so we would look for the one that has the ounces on the bottom. So eight is on the bottom. So we would put an eight down here and we would put a one up here. So in order to solve this one, because our ounces cancel out, all we would have to do is 108 divided by eight. And it does not go in evenly, but it is a nice concise decimal. So this ends up being 13.5 cups. So if you needed to, you could always plug that into a calculator to get your answer. All right, moving into the next one, we wanna go four quarts, two pints. So we can see that there is a direct relationship from quarts to pints. So for this one, we would put the quarts on the top and we want to eliminate the quarts so we would make sure that quarts are on the bottom over here. So we would use the one where the quart is on the bottom and the pints is on the top. So we would put two pints on top and one quart on the bottom. Our quarts would cancel out and I'm just left with four times two, which is eight pints. So four quarts is equivalent to eight pints. All right, moving into the next one. So for this one, we're going from pints to ounces. And if you notice, we have something for pints to cups, and then we have cups to ounces. So we do have to use two conversions because there is not a direct relationship listed out for pints to um, ounces. So for this one, what I want to do is I first Sorry, I went too far. Um, for this, I first want to convert my pints to ounces. So I would put pints down here. So I wanna go pints to cups first is what I meant. And then I wanna go cups to ounces. So the last thing I wanna end up with ounces um, on the top, okay? so. For the pints to cups, I can see that one pint gives me two cups, so these would cancel out. And then on the next one, we would look at our cups to ounces. So one cup is eight ounces. And then all we would have to do is multiply across the top. Since in the denominator, all we have is one, we're dividing by one. So I would just do five times two, which is 10 times eight, which gives me 80 ounces. So five pints is equivalent to 80 ounces. And that's kind of hard to see, so let me put a better space in there. Okay. All right, for this last one, we are going to have to use multiple conversions again, because I don't have a direct relationship from ounces to gallons. So for this one, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna look for ounces. And with ounces, I have a direct relationship from ounces. I need to save some room, so let me make it not quite as large. Okay, so I have a relationship from ounces to cups. 
So my ounces would cancel out, but I'm left with cups on the top, so I want to get to gallons. Okay, for cups, so if we're filling this in as we go, I have eight ounces in one cup. Okay, moving into the next one, I want to look for a relationship where I can get rid of cups. And so my cups goes to pints, so I would have two cups and one pint. So my cups would now cancel out, but I'm still not to gallons. I'm only at pints. Okay, so for the next one, I would look for pints. I can go pints to quarts. So I would say two pints is one quart. So now my pints are left, but I'm still not at the correct units yet because I want gallons at the top. So now this would be our last one. Um, we would say that there are four quarts in one gallon. Okay, so I finally have the units that I'm trying to convert to, and that's when I know that I'm going to stop. For this one, there's a couple different ways you could plug this into your calculator. Um, for me, I find it's easier just to multiply all the way across the top. So on this one, we would end up with um, 1,024 on the top. And my ounces canceled out, so I don't know why I wrote that. So I would have 1,024 on the top, and then on the bottom, I would have 8 times 2, which is 16. 16 times 2 would give me 32, and 32 times 4 would give me 128. Okay, so then all I would have to do is take and plug into my calculator 1024 divided by 128, and we can see that that gives us 8 gallons. Okay, so 1,024 ounces is equivalent to 8 gallons. All right, I just wanted to look at a quick application with you. So Jaylin is making limeade to bring to a picnic. She has two containers. One holds two quarts and the other one holds one gallon. If she brings both containers, we want to know how many cups of limeade will she have. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to convert the two quarts two cups. Okay, and again, there's not a direct conversion, so I would first have to go from quarts to pint, and we can say that there are two pints in one quart, and that would get rid of my quarts, and then I can go pints to cups, so there are two cups in one pint, and now I am to the units that I want to be in because I wanted to be in cups. So I would have 2 times 2, which is 4 times 2, which is 8 cups. So the first container holds 8 cups. So now we would look at the 1 gallon. So I would do the same thing essentially, but this time I would have to go 1 gallon. So I would have to go um, 1 gallon is the same thing as 4 quarts. Okay, um, one quart is equivalent to two pints. One pint is equivalent to two cups. So again, my gallons would cancel out, my quarts would cancel out, my pints would be canceled out, and I'd be left with cups on the top, and I would just multiply across the top. So I would have 1 times 4, which is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16 cups. So to find the total, all I would have to do is take and add the 8 cups plus the 16 cups, and this would end up giving me 24 cups total. So she has a total of 24 cups of limeade to bring to the picnic. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.